What are rockets hitting in outer space? Or can we even call it outer space? The dome, the glass, are they running into water? Are they running into another gas? A globe earther sent me an SDS shuttle launch to prove to me that the Earth was in fact a ball. And we're going to examine that just oh so briefly. But first up, we're going to examine the Go Fast Rocket Team's rocket and see if there's any similarities between that launch and NASA's launch. The Go Fast Team first. <laughs> Okay, so the sound of the engine starts to diminish as if maybe A, it's run out of fuel, or B, it's being suffocated by something, and so there can be no more combustion. The rocket is spinning really fast still at this point from uh, takeoff. And coming up here, something else happens. And it's right about here. Watch. So despite the rocket spinning, as fast as it was, uh, something brought this rocket to a complete halt. And now the rocket gets suspended in air and it starts to turn on its side. It's just like floating in something. Now, I don't think this is water because we probably see water on the lens, but I, I found this very interesting that the rocket just stops, all combustion stops, and now the rocket is on its side and just frozen there in space. Let's compare this to the STS shuttle launch. Final launch of Endeavour, expanding our knowledge, expanding our lives in space. Did he say expanding our lives in space or lives? No, probably lives. Let's keep watching. <laughs> So watch what happens to the second rocket. Uh, pay attention to the flame. We have a nice rocket combustion here, but as everything gets suspended at this point and starts to turn just like the Go Fast rocket started to turn, this flame uh, seems to be pushing against a barrier of some kind or some type of gas as the rocket turns and heads towards Earth, turns its nose towards Earth, and eventually the flame doesn't have any more oxygen and just gets snuffed out. At this point, things get quiet, and the all the pieces that NASA set up there start to just slowly rotate as if suspended in a liquid. So everything kind of seems like it's just suspended, uh, bobbing around up there. Uh, they're not orbiting Earth because they're not traveling 17,500 miles an hour. They're just kind of stuck up there, spinning around. So let's take a look at this other camera here. Now the smoke of the rocket most likely would continue in the same direction. It wouldn't uh, wouldn't orientate with the back of the rocket, but the thrust coming from the combustion of the rocket should follow in line with the rocket. But it's not. It's being pushed by something back towards Earth. It, it's like there's this resistance to the combustion of this rocket. And one more thing, I probably shouldn't have to mention this, but this is what. Globe Earthers think prove curvature of the Earth. Oh wait, that's that would prove convex Earth. My fault. Never mind. So just like the Go Fast rocket that went up was immediately stopped by something. Something stopped all this momentum, stopped it from spinning, and then it turned on its side and just kind of bobbed in space for a bit, suspended up there. So is this SD shuttle 
rocket. Uh, everything stops, the combustion stops, something's uh, resisting the combustion, resisting and just snuffs it out as the rocket is now just suspended in air pointing towards Earth. So what is this? And uh, Globusters had a show where somebody came on with a German science team who had sent a rocket up. Same thing happened to them. And they claim to have discovered that sitting on top of Earth is a layer of sulfur hexafluoride. Now, sulfur hexafluoride is a gas, and it does not conduct electricity, and it's supposedly sitting on top of our noble gas layer. So let's see what the sulfur hexafluoride looks like. Let, let's get an idea of what properties we would expect from such gas. Here we have a tank of sulfur hexafluoride, and somebody has constructed a boat made out of tinfoil. Now, as the boat is placed in the tank, you can see that it actually it looks like it's floating on invisible water. Another property of sulfur hexafluoride is that as it gets colder, it starts to crystallize, which could explain these uh, crystal-like formations on the cameras here. Here are the crystals formed on the Go Fast rocket camera as right before it gets suspended. And here NASA's own camera starts to crystallize right when it starts rotating. You can see the uh, the uh, little formations and looks like little ice that's etchings on the camera actually. And so the guy takes this tinfoil boat, fills it with the sulfur hexafluoride from the tank and look what happens to the flames of these candles as he pours it over the top. Yep, snuffs the flame out and this is the exact same thing that we see in rockets. Uh, the engines just get cut off, they get suspended temporarily, those ice crystals form and they fall back down to earth. Proving once and for all, we cannot get in space. And now we have a possible solution or explanation as to what's stopping us. This is Mike. Please like and subscribe.